Gilbert Arenas recently made a comment in the last couple of days about Rudy Gobert. And he said that Rudy Gobert should have skipped his child's birth left his child, his newborn first child and flown to Denver and played. The baby was born that morning. I don't know what time. It could have been midnight. It could have been 4 a.m. It could have been 10 a.m. It could have been 11.59. I don't know, and I don't really care. because. And I think it was really telling about guys like him, Brandon Jennings, and these other guys on his podcast that they all think that way. If your significant other, I don't know if people, men know, but Childbirth is a very, very serious thing. And black women primarily in America die at a higher rate giving birth to children than any race there is. And you think it's okay to leave your wife or girlfriend or mother of your kid, even if you're not together anymore. When your child is born, the day, that day, that is still the most dangerous day. Because you can actually come out of pregnancy okay and eight or 10 hours later have complications that kill you. So when I hear these guys say, oh, they could have left. They even invited Mark Jackson onto their podcast today and, and the whole nine and Kenyon Martin was on there and he was trying to justify times and stuff and, and all that shit. But Kenyon Martin, you know, he's different generation. And this is the thing. This is also generational. thing. These players today take days off to take a leak. Andrew Wiggins missed three months last year because of personal issues that no one ever know, has any idea about. I heard the, rumors, the rumors were that it was his, his girlfriend or wife's, all it, his kids weren't his. Then there's a rumor that it was his father was sick. Mm -hmm. that, you know, but you know what? You're a multimillionaire. How about you put your father on a fucking plane and move him to Golden State, Oakland, San Fran, put him in a hospital there so you can do your damn job for three months. So you get to take three months off because your dad is sick, if that's what it was. But Rudy Gobert can't take a game off because his have, he's having his first child in another state. Well, I don't think you should throw two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. That. Two weeks ago. Oh, I can give you a Al Harford missed a game for the birth of his child in 2016. A, 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 a lot of people do. Rajon Rondo skipped a game for his motherfucking birthday. His birthday. Damian Lillard missed the game this year for personal reasons. I don't care what they were. Jimmy Butler. A lot of people. Jimmy missed. Butler missed four games this year for the death of a family member. I don't know where you live. I know where I live. Person dies. Person is put in a damn freaking um, funeral home within two days. And like in the next day, they're buried. Usually within a week, they're buried. Jimmy Butler missed three weeks. He played, he missed, he missed four games over the course of two and a half weeks. Who the hell died? God bless. I don't care who died. He missed four weeks and no one says a word. Why are you missing that many games? You can miss a game. Oh, uh, two games. He missed four. One of which we lost by four points to Boston. And that was the difference of us being, uh, I don't know, a fucking six seed. So I'm not trying to be heartless, but what we have here is we have a real weird justification on topics and missing games. Butler missing games. Damian Lillard misses games. Rajon Rondo takes a day off for his birthday. Like Andrew Wiggins missed games last year. He missed this year. He missed four games this year for another personal issue. Remember Kyle Lowry missed a whole like a month because of personal issues two years ago. Like, there was a player that I saw that missed a World Cup game for the birth of his child. He flew across the world to see his baby born and then flew back. But he missed a World Cup game. The World Cup is once every four years, bro. So that's the national team. And we're going to sit here and we're going to fucking get on Rudy Gobert. Uh, if you told me this 20 fucking years ago. And here, here's the thing. I'm going to sound like a hypocrite. I don't think they should miss games at all. But if we're going to go in one direction for one thing, you go all the way. You can't, you can't weigh what's more important. What's a worse personal reason? We can't, what are we weighing? And Gilbert Reese makes a joke of it 
I don't know what type of father he is. I know he goes to his kids' basketball games. Beyond that, I don't know if he even raises his kids. I have no idea. I don't care. He doesn't seem like he's probably the greatest one. None of my business. I don't give a shit. But listening to what they, those guys are saying, their priorities, they won the game. And they're saying that, I think one of them said that they're, they heard that there's issues in the locker room, that they have a problem with it. Well, let me tell you about something where um, how, how can you have issues in the locker room where I believe it was Mike Conley missed games for personal reasons? I could have swore I saw Mike Conley missing games for personal reasons. I, I, I don't understand. Like, we are we going to like what, what where, are we, where are we going? Because I know I saw it. Uh, it, it. It's just weird. It, it's just we we are. At the, at the end of the day, I, I'm tired of it. Like, leave this guy alone. Like, you Rudy, want to clown him, clown him. It's Rudy, but, Ber- it's Rudy Gobert. And he's the puncher bag. But at the end of the day, it's what's important to him and a lot of a lot of people, man. Is if that's what it is, especially when it's your first child, it's 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 so much more important with your wife. Is they go through so much. It's not so much of the baby. The baby really don't even. The baby can't even see past eight inches or something like that. They don't even know that. They can't even see you. They could feel you and things of that nature when they get to you, but it's more. Mike yeah. Conley missed a playoff game for the birth of his child. Yeah, so it's 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 more. Well, so how can how can their locker room have an issue with him yeah. when one of their players missed when he was playing um in Memphis? How could he have an issue with this man? I don't say he is, yeah. but he missed the playoff game for the yeah. birth of his kid. So it's 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 just more that is Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert is a punching bag for for a lot of jokes and things of that nature. It started with Shaq. And it went, it trickled down to, to a whole bunch of things that went on with the Draymond situation and the whole COVID. A lot of shit happened with Rudy Gobert. So, you know, being there for your kid, it's, it's, it's a big thing. It's, it's not even for the kid per se. It's for your wife, your woman, or the person it's that's your having, woman. It's that's your, having the, 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 your child, your baby mama, your girlfriend, whoever it was that's having your child. It's really about being there for them because there's so much thing that could go wrong in that situation. Like just being in that situation. I know you've been there. I've been there. My my fiance had a fucking C session that happened like out of nowhere because you know of uh, you can die from that because the the, the, the kid wasn't it's handling. No, the kid wasn't handling the the, the um pushing the, or whatever. Yeah, labor, wasn't having, wasn't having, wasn't having to handling the contraction well. So he wasn't handling the contraction well. So his heartbeat was dropping. Yeah, that's so, section. So they pulled her out out of nowhere, like, oh, we got to do it quick, fast. And by the time they're like, oh, you got to change in your clothes. Oh, and then one time I tried to get in the door, they was like, yeah, you can't even go in because we already brought her in. We can't open the door again. So I wasn't even there. And then like three oh. minutes later, my kid was out. So it's really more for the person that you're having a kid with because they go through so much shit as a woman. Like, I'm not even trying to sound like a pussy or shit. It's just what it's it is. A, I understand it. it. It is not a pussy. It, it, it's not like. Now, I, if it's her I, second I, kid and third kid and she had yeah, a kid. If this, and, like, if this is your second or third kid, but you know what? And I know people are going to say this. Well, your kid doesn't even know if you're there or not. You know, they don't. But you know what? When they're older, they're going to ask you. They will ask you. It's not even that. It's, 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 My own kids have asked me, where was I when, when they were born? Yes. Like, you're a kid. Uh, this isn't a birthday when you, you're a professional athlete. This is the birth. This is the beginning. And no. I don't know how you felt, but I know with my first son, Nico, mm-hmm. I didn't. And then there, by the way, our kids have literally the same <laughs> name. They're Nick, both Nicholas yeah. and they're both, we go call them Nico. No, mine's Nico. actually Nico. It's just Nico. I thought it was Nicholas. I thought it was Nicholas. Are you? Oh, okay. Well, my son's called Nico. His name is Nicholas, which is the same as Nick up here. Nicholas, just without an H. Um, when I had my son, there, I, there was no way in the world that I even wanted to leave the room. I didn't want to leave the room. You could have told me that I had a million dollars in the opposite side of the room, outside of the door. I, I would have grabbed it. No. But, um, but, no, but, but I would have been right no. back in. No, I, 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 I had that a really fucking good reason. And I'm sorry, a playoff basketball game when you're winning 1-0 on the road, I'm sorry, is not as important of a fucking reason for me to not want to be with my kid on that first day. I'm sorry. You can, say, you can feel how you feel. And you can call me a pussy. No. 
And I know I'm all over the place with this no. because I have feelings of certain things. I'm tired of watching all these guys take days off for personal reasons that are not really real. Oh, oh they're going through a divorce. Well, you know what? So fucking what? No. The hearings in the morning go play in the night. That's no. different. If we had a baby early and my and my wife or fiance or my girlfriend was like, hey, it's okay, you know, I understand, yada, yada. Now that's different. I'd be like, okay, let me go make it out there. Most people aren't going to be okay with that. And there, Most are, there are some that, that's understanding. understand. They're like, okay. But, but, I'm about, this is the lifestyle like, that you created yeah, for me. DeLon Wright, I know you're going to say DeLon who? DeLon Wright for the Miami Heat, game four of the Heat series. He skipped that game for the birth of his kid. No one said a word. Gilbert Arenas didn't clown him. I know he doesn't have the, the magnitude to, the, to, the, like, to, to what Gobert has to the T-Wolves, but he actually was our only point guard. So our only point guard left. We couldn't dribble the ball. We lost by 30. We would have only lost by 25 if he had played. Um, Maybe. But realistically, like, no one said a word then. But because it's Gobert, let's go fucking take a dump on Gobert. Like, it, it, it just, it's such bad taste. I don't like it. I think it's disrespectful. I, I think everyone's situation is different. I, I am sick and tired of these mental health days for these players. I, I'm, I'm disgusted by it at, on that level. But the birth of your kid is, you, that only happens once. It will not happen again. That child will only be born one time. Right. And you'll never happen again. And if you miss that, you miss something that you're never going to have again. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.